Well, hi there. This is Shane from Shane's Books and Review. I hope you're having a great day today. It is Monday. What are we going to be talking about at Friday? Come 3 o'clock p.m. CST. Well, Peter Kleins has come out with another book. It is Dead Moon, which is supposed to tie into the fold in 14. And yeah, this one is... Oh, absolutely, you can skip it. I don't recommend it. <laughs> and there's reasons why. One, zombies are so overdone. I mean, come on. And the story, it only loosely ties into 14 and the fold. Quite frankly, there wasn't really good amount of exposition on the part of Peter Klein's. I just, I can't really say get it. We're going to have another video come Friday talking about another book. <laughs> this one just doesn't warrant that much of a discussion, really. I was really let down by it. The first two books I read of his that had to do with The Fold and 14, that universe, they were so well done. They were thought out. Characters came to life in some cases grew with the story in other cases i don't know how mike would actually grow with that story but he did change become more by the end of it that was awesome and this one the characters are absolutely forgettable any of them are interchangeable with the rest of them i had a hard time getting into it simply because the premises of a rock landing on the moon and then changing everybody into zombies and then the moon just happening to be the biggest graveyard in the universe. I mean, first off, let's let's think about all this logically, right? First, space travel is so expensive. Why would there be so many bodies on the moon? They have weight. And since they have weight, then it takes X amount of money to get that weight outside of the atmosphere. The technology to get them up there and the crews it would take and, and, and. It's very not plausible in the story whatsoever. Now, granted, sci-fi is usually not plausible, right? But in the first two books that he wrote on this, on this universe, even though not plausible, it was relatable, it was enjoyable, and it was acceptable. This is not. The rules of the zombies change. They do. I just, I didn't care for it much. Not at all. No, I'm not mad. I'm not upset. But I, personally, I was let down because... I really don't think that he should have attributed this story to that universe. The only real tie-in was that it was one of these beings that were the outside of our perceptions for the most part, and it was just a segment of its brain, and it was trying to control all the dead people to kill all the other people, and ooh, ah, eh. The most interesting thing that I can say about the book is that the brain wasn't dead and it tries to reassemble itself and they have to thwart that. So that, yeah. But as far as the story of the fold where people were playing with interdimensional travel and that is what got the attention of the creatures or the story of 14 where the house that they were living in, unannounced to them, was a machine that was actually keeping life in balance by keeping these dimensional beings away from us. This story was nothing like that at all. This story was just a story about some throwaway characters that it was really hard to get invested in. So sorry, but I don't want to trash the book, but I'm not going to recommend it either. Now, if you do enjoy zombies and that sort of a thing, this book might be enjoyable for you. The writing style was the same as he had with 14 and with The Fold. To give credit where it is most certainly due, he did think the book out. He did think his characters out. But eh, it just wasn't something for me. And I really don't think it was something that you guys and gals would enjoy either. Uh, unless you're a zombie fan. And then you might. Come Friday. 3 o'clock p.m. CST. I've changed my mind. We won't be talking about this book because we've already talked about it. And now we can set it to the side. Done. <laughs> Gone. Ha ha. What we will be talking about, though, is Jack Reacher. There was a story, uh, what was it? Cleaning the Gold. It's a short story, very short story, that was a collaboration between Karen Slaughter and Lee Child. And the two characters, of course, is going to be Jack Reacher, Will Trent. I like collaborations between people. Eh. We'll talk about it come Friday. Till then. Like, share, subscribe. This is Shane with Shane's Books and Review. And I will see you on Friday.